took a lot of this equipment to Palestine with it, and tools and so on. And then we opened the same kind of business in Palestine. We had our own bakery in Palestine. And you got like almost did it feel like you were in home? In Palestine? Like, yeah. Oh no, it was much, much different. Uh, the country is... The, the big differences between Poland and Palestine. Mm -hmm. Poland was cold and a lot of rain. It's a little bit... In Poland it was like New York, you know, mm -hmm. in the winter. And a lot of snow and so on. And in Palestine, it was very warm and uh, uh, it was very hot. And we weren't used to this hot, warm weather. And my father got very sick after a while because of the hot weather. He couldn't take it. He was yet to, he was in the hospital for a while when uh, we first came to Palestine. It was, it was very hard for the family to adjust to Palestine for the first few years. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, did you, uh, did you, like, did your family, like, get used to living there? Well, after a while, yeah. you know, it, they had no choice. Uh, my father worked very, very hard, and my mother worked very, very hard in the business. We had two businesses, a bakery and a restaurant. So my mother ran the restaurant, and my father ran the, ran the bakery. And in fact, they were so busy with their businesses that I had to take care of my sister. There was nobody to take care of Dina. And I was only, you know, three years older than my sister, Dina. And even then, when I was five, six, seven years old, when she cried in the middle of the night, she'd wake up, I would have to tend to her and comfort her to put him back to sleep. And when I couldn't do it, and she kept crying, I would dress her uh, the best I could and, and take her to mm -hmm. the bakery, which was a far one in her home. And would, my father would spread some blankets near the big oven in the bakery and we would sleep there in the bakery the rest of the night. You just take pictures of these, right? While you're doing it, Zach, it'll be much easier. Just use the little camera. The fresh bread to the present day with such a good smell. The last time you came back to Israel, did you have any what do you think has changed? I mean, I know a lot's changed there, but what do you think has Yeah, um, did you, uh, did you, like, did your family Well, after a while, yeah. you know, it, they had no choice. Uh, my father worked very, very hard, and my mother worked very, very hard in the business. They had two businesses, a bakery and a restaurant. So my mother ran the restaurant, and my father ran the, ran the bakery. And in fact, they were so busy with their businesses that I had to take care of my sister. There was nobody to take care of Dina, and I was only you know, three years older than my sister, Dina. Mm -hmm. And even then, when I was five, six, seven years old, when she cried in the middle of the night, she'd wake up, I would have to tend to her and comfort her to put him back to sleep. And when I couldn't do it, and she kept crying, I would dress her uh, the best I could and, and take her to the bakery, which wasn't far from where we lived. And we would, my father would spread some blankets near the big oven in the bakery, and we would sleep there in the bakery the rest of the night. And I remember the smell of the fresh bread as it came out of the baking oven at night. I can 
still smell the, the, the fresh bread to the present day with such a good smell. Mm -hmm. when, the last time you came back from, to Israel, do you think, what do you think has changed? I mean, I know a lot's changed there, but what do you think has probably changed the most? In Israel? Since 1947? You mean the change between 47 and now? Oh, the country has changed very, very greatly. Because when I left in 1947, there were only 600,000 Jews in, living in Palestine. And in my hometown, in Rishon, Rishon and Zion, we only had 7,000 people living in that town. Today, in Rishon and Zion, they have 160, 170,000 people living in that town. It's bigger than San Mateo. It's San Mateo and Fort Specific combined in size, Rishon now. So, today, at that time, I knew every person in town uh, where I lived by name, by first name, last name, I knew their children, I knew their mothers. We all knew each other by, by first name. Today, I don't know anybody when I go to Rishon. So different. Because there's so many people, I don't know them. Mm -hmm. um.